Mandy, you are a foster mum. Congratulations. Thank you. Tell me what made you decide to make this huge commitment, such a commitment. Yes, it was... Um, friends had just recently been doing it and we'd spent a lot of time with them and you kind of think yeah, we could do this. So that's what started it. We had a conversation with the family at home and it sort of went from there. But my friends get a bigger telly and I get jealous, so I do that. This is a life-changing... This is very different. I think it does have to fit in with your family. You've got to take your other children into consideration and people try and put you off, but you've just got to go with it. So. How many people did you consult? So you decide, you go, OK, we think we can do this as a family. Who did you then consult? Friends and fa family. My mum and dad were a bit, oh, you know, you've already got four children, do you really want to be doing this? And Everyone, I think, naturally tries to put you off because you hear so many horrible things, but it really isn't as bad. Once you go through it, it's like a learning curve all the way and you need support, you get it. So you're not left in the lurch like people say, oh, you could never get hold of a social worker when you need to and all the rest of it, but touch wood might have been really good. So, What happens then? So you and your husband sit down. What were your kids like? You've got four kids, you say? Yes. What were they like when you said, do you know what, we, we might bring another kid into this house. They supported us all the way. We have a special needs child that we had to give real consideration to. Well, she's an adult now, so that was a big thing for us, thinking, do we, don't we? You know, you don't know how everyone's going to react in the family, but it's been really good. And you've had yeah. no... Your, your kids have, have supported this? They've been really this. good, yeah. He's very spoiled, the child we've got, because they're all working and... So, yeah. And how long have you had him? We're into our third year with him now, yeah. He's staying with us as well. We've been linked to Match to stay long term, so... And how long were you thinking about being a foster family before you actually made the phone call or went down or got the leaflet? Um, probably about six months before we made the first phone call. And then our um, process took about 12 months, took mm -hmm. quite a while, because... It's a, quite a long-winded process, but for the right reasons. And throughout this 12 months, you're going through the process, all the checks, the courses, etc., before you're accepted mm. um, as a foster family. Was there any time during that that any of you wavered? No, but th they do try and put you... They put, like, worst-case scenarios to you, I think, to make you think, oh, what if, you know, was this? Could you still go through with it? And I think if you get to the end, you know that you're strong enough to do it, if that makes sense. Mm. It's the worst case scenario that people yeah. hear and read about, and yeah. that's why it's great to talk to you, yeah. because you heard all that, you still decided to do it. Yeah. And what's your experience been since you had your son? It's been really good. I'm not saying we weren't scared to start with, because you are, because you kind of question everything you're doing. You're, you're, some people aren't, obviously, mums and dads, but you, even though we were, you still kind of you think, should we be doing this? Are we doing this right? But, you know, you are. You just need to sort of get your confidence back yourself, you know. And how has his life changed? It's really good. He looks really well. He's a happy little boy, yeah. How long really did good. it take? So he, he comes in... How old is he? He's coming eight now. He okay. was five when he came. He was a little bit withdrawn and sulky when we first had him and um, his health-wise wasn't brilliant, but he's a... A lovely little boy now, little cutie. How long really did it happy. take to get him settled in to your family lifestyle? Um, I'd probably say a couple of months, something like that, yeah. And now he's part of the family? Yeah, definitely, most definitely. Yeah, he calls us mum and dad out mm. of his own choice. He calls mummy, mummy, and he calls me mum. And my husband, dad, so yeah, it's really nice. What differences have you had to make in your family lifestyle? You kind of make more of an effort as just for yourself as a family because you'd kind of do more days out, whereas the kids probably would think, oh, I'm not coming with mum and dad today, but you kind of do more as a family. It's weird. And your mum and dad? Yeah, So they had reservations fine. at first? Yeah, they're absolutely fine, yeah. They think it's great. We, we were, were all down at... My parents live in Oxford and we were all down there at the weekend and he does a little speech because it was my dad's 85th birthday and stuff like that. He's loved by everybody. Everybody who's met him likes him. They know he can be challenging, but yeah, it's really good. What are the pitfalls, do you think? 
you, because you know where they've come from, you're kind of a bit more protective over them, mm -hmm. you know, but you have to then, it's, you, it's really hard, you have to like block out what's happened in their past and you have to support whatever, you know, needs, if it wants contact, we're very good with um, his grandparents come to our house every week, they take him out for the day. It's not so good with um, his mum, he doesn't want to see his mum at the minute, but you have to go by their choice. Sure. So, yeah. What's the best thing? since you've had him, what's the best thing that's happened? Just seeing blossoming, you know, being a, a lovely little boy, mm -hmm. yeah. And your proudest moment? When he had his um, little suit on and he got his eye award, they do a, an award ceremony once a year and he absolutely loved it. He had his little suit and dicky bow on and he went up on the stage really brave because it's quite a big night and um, yeah, just realising how much he's achieved, so. What would you say to people who are watching who, like you, were thinking, shall I, shan't I? I would say, you know, go with your heart, like everybody seems to say, you know. You know it's right for yourself. If you go that far, it's going to be good. And how's it changed your life? It's made us um, go back to more of our family values, I'd say. And, you know, sitting around the table at tea time, whereas before the kids used to be off in their rooms and eat their dinner on their laps, watching telly, we're kind of, you focus more as a family because they all, as they get older, they kind of all do their own thing, don't they? So, how rewarding has it been for you and the family? Very rewarding. Yeah, it's changed our life. I've had really good time with everything and I wouldn't, I wish we'd have done it years ago.